Oh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Zack Snyder fans, or fans of DC in general, are pissed at Netflix. Because Netflix has seemingly made a deal with Warner Brothers, you know, and HBO Max, DC, whatever, and added eight DC EU movies in December, or will be anyway. But there's a whole bunch of backlash. Why? Because they're not the right ones. That's right, they're not the right ones. There are some which are not actually here either, by the way. So Aquaman's not there. Shazam's not there. Uh, but there's a, a whole bunch of other stuff uh, that is there. Which fans are up in arms about, which we'll get to. Because they tweeted it out and uh, the responses are hilarious. And I get it as well, FYI. Like, I do get it. Um, I understand why people are a bit annoyed about it. But it's still comical to take a look at from an outside perspective. This, by the way, is actually Warner Brothers' hope to get some profits. They're selling stuff off, movies, assets, to uh, generate profit, which makes sense. You know, you should cross-pollinate all of these things, what always used to happen. But here we have the tweet from Netflix. Uh, hit subscribe if you're new here, by the way, guys. But it says, uh, what they well, they tweeted this out. Man of Steel, Batman vs. Superman, Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman, Justice League... Birds of Prey, Wonder Woman 84, The Suicide Squad. Take a journey through the DCEU when these films hit Netflix on December 1st. Side note, by the way, Amber Heard's trending at the moment. That's hilarious. Take a look at that uh, a little bit later, I think. But here's the responses. And they're really annoyed, by the way. I mean, this is only... I mean, it's not, it's not been out for that long as a tweet, like an hour and a half. It's got 173. 173 comments. There's a lot of comments in such a short space of time um, about something which I'd imagine they thought was fairly innocuous. But yeah, no, they're pissed. Should have been, uh, should have just bought the rights, make it a part of DC Elseworlds, and let Snyder complete his vision. You'll see a lot like this, by the way, guys. At Netflix, would you please put Batman vs Superman Ultimate Edition and Zack Snyder's Justice League on there? Don't actually think they have a say in that, by the way. Uh, and I also, as well, like, I think, as a side note, I think one of the reasons why they they don't have Zack Snyder's Justice League on there is because it was it was made as a HBO Max or now Max exclusive. So there might be an issue with the rights to do with that as a loss leader or some kind of write down. That's potentially why it's not there. That and the the fact that. Apparently, people didn't really want that version within Warner Brothers. So, is Netflix trying to lose subscribers? Apparently. Uh, and then we have this as well. So, great work. But if you ask Zach, he'd want BVS, the Ultimate Edition. Maybe the proper Justice League can be on there also. Maybe it's sequels as well. So, uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League to Netflix. These hashtags are insane, by the way. Uh, all you need is Ben Affleck to make his Batman film. I think he's done with that as well, isn't he? Pretty certain he's come out and been like, no, nah, I'm done with it. I don't really, I'm not interested anymore. That isn't the real Justice League movie. The four at the top are fire. Four at the bottom are completely forgettable. Yeah, well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> You're not going to see me arguing with that, but yeah. Uh, we need Zack Snyder's Justice League and BVS Ultimate Edition. You need, there's a lot of, Netflix needs a lot apparently. You need Zack Snyder's Justice League and the air cut of Suicide Squad. Release the air cut. One person. Oh, so good. Thank you, Netflix. <laughs> uh, this, is this the same person? Yeah, God, it is. What did they say again? Sell, Zack, sell Snyderverse to Netflix, restore the Snyderverse. Let Zack Snyder make his Justice League sequels. You're tweeting to the wrong person, man. Like... How have they got so many... Jesus. Wow, they've got a lot of followers. Aside now, I'm on Twitter. Follow me. Get my followers up. Mistakes reviews. Once again, I'm asking you to bring back Julie and the Phantoms. I mean, what has this got to do with what... People are so strange on the internet. They really are. They are very, very strange. And what's this bloody spanner? DM, let me suggest best movie for you. What is it? You're like Ratchet OnlyFans. Probably. Anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, Batman versus Superman. Uh, this is nostalgia. 
Thanks for the warning. All right, then. Uh, oh, I guess, yeah, thanks for the warning. As in, like, I'm not, I'm not interested. Yeah, maybe. Uh, well, the best of the bunch were Wonder Woman and Man of Steel. Wonder Woman created the Belgian atmosphere of the First World War. Pretty accurate. This is going to be a marathon. Can you imagine marathoning that? Christ. So, a lot of people are not happy about it. Obviously. All insanely mid-movies. Besides Suicide Squad and Wonder Woman. Lower your prices and get better movies. and we'll, uh, Or we'll stick with Hulu. That is true, actually. They've raised their prices again. Uh, I got that email. I was very angry about it. Yeah, except these movies are pretty much irrelevant. Only to the failed Snyderverse fans. Still grasping... For a fraction of Marvel's success, the only ones worth watching are James Gunn's The Suicide Squad and Birds of Prey. Oh. Oh. Mate, get some better taste. Birds of Prey was a wank. Ah. Uh, oof. Yes, please tell me these are Snyder cuts for BVS in Justice League. Warner Brothers Discovery Studios cut the films to ribbons and was shocked the studio cut underwhelmed. Businessmen need to trust the vision of the creatives. Their point, Zack's films are gold. There's a lot of people sucking Zack's D here. Just as an FYI. Without the ultimate edition of BVS, the Snyder Cut of Justice League, you're being robbed of whatever Warner Brothers Discovery is charging you for these films. The same goes with TNT broadcasting those versions instead of the correct films. That is true, though. They are being robbed, because a lot of people... Well... I don't know whether that many people... Did that many people care? I honestly don't know if that many people care. And there's definitely a, you know, a contingent of fans that do, but I don't think... There's that many people that do. Uh, all this is on Max with the even better Snyder Cut of Justice League. Not Zack's... Yeah, but you can't get Max in the entire world. Uh, people are so dumb. Uh, it's not Zack Snyder's Justice League, the Ultimate Edition BBS, nor the air cut of Suicide Squad, though. Well, no, there is no air cut yet. That's not the actual Justice League movie, though. This would uh, give us a chance to watch these movies once again. Yes, Ajit Singh. Um, you could just simply watch them, but yeah. <clears throat> this is true, actually. This is apparently what he meant. I have to say, this has got to be the wackiest hashtag ever. One, Netflix hasn't expressed any such interest, though we've discussed other stuff. And two, Zach hasn't expressed any interest and seems to be happy doing what he's doing. This is to do with them, uh, you know, Netflix having a conversation with James Gunn, apparently, with the sell, sell, sell Zack Snyder's Justice League or whatever to Netflix. Oh dear, but so many... It's just constant. Look at it, it's constant. Constant. All of them are the same, basically. Constant, constant, constant. Very, very funny. So Netflix is being absolutely slammed by this. Wrong Justice League, I fear. Oh my god. I get it, if you, if you want that, you want that. But there's not many people that do. Most people don't care. Anyway, what do you guys think? I thought this was hilarious. Bit of a comedy gold for you today. Uh... Yeah, these people are terminating online. Just get off get off the internet. Go, you know, put your feet on some grass or something. Calm down.